I've been working with the program for seven years. Almost without exception, these men do come from violent backgrounds. That's why they're in this facility. For you to rise above that in that environment is, uh, is formidable. The building was built in the 40s. It's a lot of cold steel and cinder block. When I walk through the prison halls, the floors are cold, they're concrete, and it's a little depressing. But uh, in the company of those men that are trying to apply Bible principles, it's actually a very warm and inviting group of people to be with. When you see them start to study and the kind of person they are, angry, and then over time, they start to change and they start to view the other men in the group as their brother, it is remarkable. It's conducted just like any other meeting outside. They're able to raise their hand and express themselves and share with the group what they've learned. Uh, the end result is that it's a very encouraging session. It's spiritually upbuilding. Chapter eight, verses eight and verse Many of the officers do appreciate the work we do because they do see a change in the men. They see them wear ties to the meeting. No one wears ties in the prison. They do not use the language that is very common among prisoners. Perhaps the most dramatic change is in the personality. To see them become peace-loving and to not respond with violence is very impressive. Robert is still fairly new to this whole program, but he's made a tremendous amount of progress. He is a formidable man, he's, he's a big man. He tended to be extremely aggressive in the way that he dealt with others. I have seen a change in him, his personality. Uh, <laughs> those, uh, those bad traits, they were there, and they still are, they don't go away. But you, can, you learn to control it. You learn not to let it get the best of you because you're trying to show Jehovah that you really want his help. God's word can penetrate all the way through us and transform us and change us. And when we learn about what Jehovah wants of us and how he wants to help us, it softens your heart, you know, because you want to try to live up to what he wants, not what you were. Once these men acquire a bit of knowledge, they share it with their fellow inmates. Where do we always refer to if we're trying to learn something? Go to the scripture. We go right to the source. Just to see it in someone's eye when they hear the truth and they grab it, you know, grab the fact that what they were told was a lie and then it's been corrected and they see it from God's word and it means something to them, then that, that you know, that's the best reward that you can have. A lot of these uh, prisons are in our backyard and there's a tremendous need. Jehovah's Witnesses are all about education and improving oneself. When you see the progress that the men make and you see how the application of Bible principles makes them better people, makes them happier people, that's the most important work a person could do.